Yeah, afternoon everybody. Well, as you've just seen, uh, the front wall is covered uh, in weeds and plants. Um, half of them, I don't know what they are. They look really nice, some of them, but uh, they shouldn't be there. And uh, before I get a visit from the mayor asking me to cut them back, I thought I'd spend an hour or two on this gorgeous day cutting them back, tidying it up and uh, chill out a bit. So that's the plan. It should take me an hour or so and uh, I'm not in any rush. Uh, let's see what it looks like when I've finished. Catch you in a while. Cheers everybody. So as you can see the wall here, well a lot of this wall is in pretty bad condition, it bows out, leans over, uh, to be honest it's not really that safe at all and it's always been like this and the plan is that when I can I'm going to rebuild it in sections a little bit at a time, probably a metre, two metres at a time and work my way down and uh, then it's got to be rendered. So uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll get that done this year or if it'll be next year. But my biggest worry is that it would collapse when any of the school children are walking by. So I want to get it safe as soon as possible. And that's really why I'm not being too aggressive with it. I'm not going to start pulling stuff out too hard and too deep. Because uh, you know what damage you're going to do. But anyway, I'll carry on. Well, I think you'd agree that looks a lot better. It's not perfect. It's never going to get on the uh, cover of Homes and Gardens, but uh, it'd be better for people walking down. They won't be brushing against it, or if it's wet, getting wet from it as well. So I'll just have a tidy up, bring all the uh, the cuttings in here. I'm going to build a composter uh, in the next few days, and I'll plonk them in there. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have a beer. It must be about 30 degrees today. So we only took about an hour, so I think I deserve a beer. Talk to you in a while. Cheers. Yeah, 
Yeah, hi everybody. Well, I'm now going to start plasterboarding this wall behind me. Um, I can only use half sheets, they're the only sizes I can get up the stairs. I can't get a full sheet up there. So it's probably going to take about four, four or five, four and a half uh, sheets of plasterboard. When I've got the first one on, I'm going to work out then where the mixer taps are going to go uh, for the shower itself. So uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult a job. It's just straight pieces and the pieces I've got are actually longer than the wall so there's no joins or anything like that. So uh, let's get on with it. Catch you in a while. For me, this is always the most uh, nerve-wracking bit, is getting these holes in exactly the right place for these. So I could make a template, but we'll uh, do it this way. Cross the fingers and hope it all works. Now we're going to be spot on, there's a little bit of wiggle room, but uh, we'll get as near as I possibly can. Find the centres. in the middle because uh, the plate that holds this in place will uh, be up in front of these bars so that's no good and also got to think of the size of the tiles the tiles are 80 high and 40 wide so the tile actually comes to about somewhere like that and I've got to cut a hole in the tile so I don't want it to be too close to the edge I've got a diamond cutter so hopefully that should do the job okay I've got a lot of tiles, so uh, if you don't work the first time, we'll try, try, and try again. Okay, let's put these holes.
why is it that the smallest jobs always take the longest time? The jobs that should be pretty easy, really, uh, seem to take forever, cause you more problems. But anyway, the actual mixer tap is in position. Obviously, it uh, will have to come off again. Uh, just the chrome part for when we tile, and uh, I've got the holes in the tiles as well, which I'm not looking forward to. But uh, yeah, they're in the right spot. I can't put another piece of plasterboard on because I haven't connected the water yet. And if I connect the water and there's a problem, I can't get at it with another piece of plasterboard up there. So I'm going to leave this job for now and get on with something else. Catch you later. Okay, we've uh, moved the sink, or I should say I've moved the sink, which uh, weighs a ton. Uh, moved the water tank away from the corner, pulled it out, giving me enough room to get in this corner. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a platform for the stand for the tank to uh, sit on, and then the tank on top, and then I will also bolt the tank to the wall, make it nice and secure. Uh, that's what's recommended by the manufacturers, so there uh, shouldn't be a problem with it. <coughs> so the first job is to build the platform, doesn't need a lot, and uh, then move on from there. Once I've done that, I can then bring the pipes down from the ceiling so we can connect it all together. Okay, let's get on with it. Cheers everybody.
okay, that's the easy bit done. I'm now going to work out how I get this tank and the stand onto the platform so that I can mark where the bolts have to go into the wall uh, and then get back down again and then get it back up again. So I think it's about half oh, five, six o'clock. Uh, I think that's enough for today and I shall carry on tomorrow. See you then. Cheers.